Okay. Now, whenever you back up to a hay bale, it does take some practice. It's like back in a small trailer that you would buy at your farm and home store or whatever trailer you would buy. We keep these up enough that you can see them from the cab. We're actually using a side by side. You can use the four wheeler 10 times easier. You have to be pretty well square with the hay bale or else you're trying to drive that spear across that grain and that makes it really, really hard. So you undo your clips and you pull out your spear. Now, whenever we get a load of hay in, we try to place them on our farm where we're gonna use them, okay? These are actually, we just picked up another lease farm, so we don't get to use them on this farm. We're moving them. There's a road right here. We have them come in on an inline trailer. And we push, come around here, dude. We roll every other bale out off of that inline trailer. So that way, your Greg Judy bale unroller can get to them. So that way they're spaced out, there's two out, I pushed one in the back, on back, only because it rolled farther whenever we unrolled, whenever they unloaded it. So. Whenever we come in here, as you can see, if I was to push this up, I pulled too far back. So I'm going to have to pull up just a little bit and let it down. So I will let it down first. So that way I know roughly where I will be. Okay, we are close. There's the center. Sometimes whenever you get into the center, it gets super, super hard to push them in. That means you either have to lift up or let down a little bit. Now, after, you wanna come around here and get this? After you, you push it in, you put your chain through here. There's a spring clip also included. You connect it, that way it can't come off of this hook, okay? Now, whenever they get over here and you're tight, because we're not all perfect at backing up, it looks like it's going across the grain of the bale and it looks like it's gonna be hard to push in. We push it in, we twist it, we pull it out, we twist it, we push it on in. Your other spike is all the way in. So we go ahead, connect the chain. We move our spring clip back up to the hook. Then we come around here and we start to roll up the bait. Now, if you're using a four wheeler, smaller normally than a 500 cc you put your foot right up here because sometimes it will lift your four wheeler up if you're trying to pick up an 1800 pound 1500 pound bale with a small four wheeler it just weighs too much so we put our foot here and we crank it up now if it is too heavy the Dutton Lansing winches come with a removable handle gear reduction so you can actually set on the back of your four-wheeler it makes it so easy that you can just pick it up while you are standing on this pump we have single women farmers who are doing this right now she weighs about 150 pounds she called for this exact reason and she's still able to do it now 
after your bale is completely in travel position, that means your winch is all the way down and it's sitting on the stops. You are ready to go to your destination of wherever you are going to unroll your bale of hay. Let's go unroll the bale of hay.